Hey, I'm Marin. And I'm Max. And we're Voyager Guru. We're really excited to be here at the Lux South Aria Toll property here in the Maldives, and we want to show you how our experience was. Overall, we've had a really great experience here. We've spent five nights here at this beautiful hotel in the Maldives, and we're really sad to leave today. So our first category is location. Overall, we'd rate the location five stars. It's really hard to go wrong here in the Maldives with the beautiful blue water, sandbars everywhere. We're right in the center where all the whale sharks are in the Maldives. Where the Lux property is located is right on the edge of what they call an atoll, which is kind of a larger region of a reef. And so you have both the inner reef side and the outer reef side, which provides a lot of diversity in terms of the activities, snorkeling, scuba diving that they offer. And obviously the whale shark experience, which is actually on the outside of the reef. So our second category is lobby and check-in. The lobby and the check-in experience are great. So definitely rate that five stars. So from the lounge, you get picked up by seaplane and taken about 35 minutes to the South Aria Toll property. Absolutely beautiful. They actually have a dock where you land just right off the property, the seaplane comes up. You probably have about 10 staff members that are there greeting you, everybody waving hello in their white linens. So you walk right across that deck to the lobby. In the lobby, they greet you with a welcome drink. All of your bags are taken to your room, and it's a pretty seamless check-in experience. In the lobby every morning, they also have a cafe with free coffee as well as some pastries, which makes for a really nice lobby experience. Category three is rooms. Overall, we'd rate the rooms four stars. There's a lot of different options in terms of rooms when you're booking, and the rooms are very different. They have beach pavilions, water villas, they have water villas with pools. So some of the rooms are much bigger than others, and some are smaller but are in better locations. So it's very hard to know that until you actually get here. The reason we rated four stars is that there's some confusion around the pricing versus what type of room you're getting. There's certainly a lot of beautiful room types. It is a big island, though, and so it does get a little confusing confusing, particularly when you book from so far away. But overall, you know, the rooms are beautiful, very spacious. Everything's kind of whitewashed and has a fun style to it. We tried a different couple of rooms while we were here, and our favorite was definitely the beach pavilion with a pool. It was beautiful white sand right outside our doorstep with a super private bathroom that was outside and a little pool. Yeah, and just being able to go just right out on the beach and into the crystal blue water was exceptional. Category four is facilities. Facilities is definitely five stars. They have everything you need on this island. There's can, so much to do. Yeah, and you can stay here for weeks without doing all of it, including excursions, there's different pools, there's tons of dining options, there's a beautiful spa, including the whale shark searching mission yeah. uh, that was unsuccessful for us. <laughs> they also have an exceptional dive center here, and the dive center prices, which is pretty unusual, I think, for most properties in the Maldives, are very reasonable. They're priced really well, kind of what you would find most diving around the world. They do both a morning trip and an afternoon trip, as well as organized night diving excursions and the Euro Diver Center that's here. They're very organized. They were able to actually get one of our certifications while we were here. The spa is also beautiful, super reasonable prices, which is very different from what you'd expect at a lot of luxury hotels, especially in the Maldives, but you can get a massage for $135. I'd say in general, that's one of the best parts about this property is that the prices have been really reasonable and, and, and not more than you'd expect to pay, which again is, is pretty unusual for the Maldives. They tend to associate the room price with with what somebody's able to pay and then they kind of jack up the rest of the prices here. That's kind of standard thing across the board. I think they've done a really good job here of making everything affordable. And because of that, you actually see tons of people doing activities every day. So category five is dining. Dining is definitely 4.5 stars. The food is amazing here. And so much of it is homemade, which is really cool. Yeah, the food's been so fantastic. And they do all kinds of culinary things on island where you have their own yogurts, their own kombucha, a lot of the ingredients that they put in everything. They actually bottle their own water on island too. So they have a desalinization plant that they pull seawater out and then they make both a sparkling water as well as a still water. They also have their own wine collection so it makes wine very affordable here. I think the only thing that we found confusing was they offer a lot of different meal plans. So uh, you could have no meal plan or potentially have a breakfast included. You could also have half board, full board, or all inclusive. But not all restaurants are actually on the all inclusive package. Not all amenities, not all services are on the all inclusive package. 
so it does get rather confusing at times when you look at your meal plan versus what's on the menu versus what some of the waiters tell you. There's also a lot of like asterisks on the menu. Yeah, there tend <laughs> to be a lot of asterisks saying, you know, this is that and this is yeah. included. Because of that, a lot of a lot of it can be rather confusing. And I think that's really the only issue that we've had with dining. We had a half board package, which included breakfast and dinner, but it did not include any beverages, including water, alcoholic drinks, lunch, etc. They did give you a 30% off discount if you went to the restaurant Umami, which is their Japanese cuisine that was not included in the restaurant yeah. package. We definitely didn't have a bad meal, so that was that, that's great. Category six is service. Service, we rate three stars. The service has been great in a lot of the different restaurants, but the main thing we found is that there's some inconsistencies. From one restaurant to another, the service will vary a lot. We talked to a lot of people on the island, and they had similar experiences where dining in one place, they said the food's fabulous, but the service isn't too great. And then another place, the service is fabulous. You should go there just for the service. <laughs> One thing that's been a little difficult is they recommend that you book your reservations at restaurants before even arriving to the island. And that can be a little bit confusing, especially when you arrive the first night. Yeah, particularly if you don't know where you want to go. However, they have been very helpful in that ahead of time, they reach out with emails. It's very important that you check your emails if you do book here ahead of time because those are important pieces of information. And they do have somebody that will help you book reservations and book you for the week. Because particularly when they're busy, they really want to make sure that you get the full experience. It's different from some of the properties that we've had here in terms of service. You don't actually have somebody who's dedicated to you and to your villa, like an island host or, or something of that nature. But that's largely for the reason that this is a significantly bigger property. This is one of the biggest islands in the Maldives. Uh, it has 196 rooms, I think, on property and over 600 staff. So you're talking about a really, really large scale operation here. And our last category is style. Style would rate four stars. They have a very cool style around the property, very island and beachy with some very interesting architecture, furniture. I would say that their style, I'll probably describe it as cheeky at times yes. too. They, they make a lot of jokes. Great they have branding. Funny, funny restrooms, funny signs when you go into the restroom. It says men to the left because women are always right. There's a couple funny things that they've done like that. Also the bathrooms in general have had just a very yeah. cool style. Uh, one of them is like a disco club yeah. uh, in one of the restaurants. Another one has just kind of this cool kind of pod vibe going on with accent lighting and they play they bump music like lounge music in the bathrooms from a style perspective that's been super cool the beach rouge restaurant has kind of an overhanging deck with lots of cool modern seating and pillows and hammocks that hang over the water overall we'd rate this property 4.3 stars it's been an amazing stay and an amazing five days we've never been bored definitely never gone hungry and I'm really excited to see their newest property opening up next year in the northern region of the Maldives as well. Yeah the water here is just exceptional crystal clear blue and so many things to do on the island. Speaking of which we're gonna go enjoy our last few hours. <laughs> <laughs> so for more videos like this please make sure to subscribe and as always go follow us on Instagram and subscribe to our blog at voyagerguru.com.